Do not niche yourself, but do niche your offers. This advice I wish I heard in the beginning of my business when I struggled so much when I listened to marketing advisors, business experts who told me, you've got to constrain all of your talents and skills into one type of person you're serving or one area of issues that you work with or one goal you help people achieve or one modality that you're going to use. Have you been frustrated by not being able to do that? Now, some of you do enjoy niching yourselves and it's working well for you and keep going. You can move on with your day. You don't have to watch this anymore. But for those of us who have multiple modalities we use, we have different interests that we would like to offer them all or offer several to our audience and not have to constrain ourselves. Guess what? You don't have to do that. I, I am living proof from 14 years of dabbling in a bunch of stuff, offering a bunch of different things. For example, I started 14 years ago being a LinkedIn expert. Did you know this? <laughs> this was my very first coaching service and uh, co online course 14 years ago. It was I taught people how to use LinkedIn for their business. Great, okay. And then someone said, George, you seem really good at using Facebook for your business too. Can you teach us? So yes, okay, I went ahead and did that. It's a different niche, by the way. These are experts that focus on each area and I decided to try both. And then someone said, George, you seem really good at running webinars. You, you, you market your webinars, you teach them, you do follow up and I seem, can you teach us how to do that? And I said, okay, all right, I'll give that a try. There are people who have entire businesses just focused on that. But I went ahead and tried that too. While I continued doing my LinkedIn coaching and my Facebook marketing advice and all that stuff. And I did the web and then on and on and on. I, I ended up publishing several books and someone, a client said, can you walk us through the process of how you self publish these books? And I said, okay. So I created a course. And I, like I said, there are other people with entire businesses just about self publishing. And I decided to dabble there too. And it went well. And, and then there are things that I offered that did not go well. I, I too many <laughs> to list to even remember. I kind of suppressed in my memory, but I have offered so many different areas. Some of that, which will forever be unnamed because nobody bought a single thing. And some of them I still offer today. So, and now, nowadays, I've been so mesmerized with this AI revolution I'm teaching right now, as of this recording, I'm teaching an AI art course. And my students are thrilled by it and having so much fun in it. And some people see me as an AI art specialist now. I'm like, really? I'm not an artist. <laughs> I mean, I know something about AI. and I. But you see, it, here's the thing. People will remember you for what is relevant for them about you. Do not worry that if you tell people 25 different things that you do, that they're going to be confused and don't know how to think about you. That's nonsense. I mean, I get it. If you're, if you're, if you're in a party, this, this is often an example. Oh, but if you're at a party and you tell someone what you do, you have to have a great elevator speech and they have to remember. Well, really? Are you trying to get clients at parties? Is that really? I mean, that's not usually how it happens. You might have, you might have a great conversation with someone at a party. I mean, I don't even know. I don't go to parties, but it's like you, you might meet someone at a party, have a great conversation, and you keep in touch afterward. They resonate with your energy signature. You keep in touch and they remember about you the one thing or two things out of the 25 things you told them, these two things they remember about, and that's what they tell other people about. This is nonsense about how you have to be super clear and concise and, and resonant with the first thing you say to a stranger and that's how, no. People hire you or they buy from you because they've heard about you from somebody, usually it's like that, or they've seen a video or several videos they've watched from you, or they read something or they, they, they searched online and found an article that you wrote and they read that article and they probably read a couple more articles. These are the ways that they then they go to your website. And guess what? This is something nobody tells you this. The person who is meant to be your client, who's meant to buy from you, your customer, they're going to be patient on your website. 
they don't spend three seconds or 30 seconds. They spend two, three minutes on your website. Your, your homepage can be the most generic thing. If you don't want to niche yourself, don't. Let your website homepage just be, I believe in love <laughs> or my primary value is integrity. Be as generic as you want. I am a life coach for all types of people. Be as generic as you want because the person meant for you are, is not going to stop there. They're going to say, oh yeah, okay. All right. You believe in love. I believe in love too. Oh, you have a life coach for all types of people. Well, I wonder about me. So let me keep reading. And then they'll see your multiple offers. You can have many offers. They'll scroll past the ones that don't relate to them. And they'll, they'll, they'll remember and hone in on the one that does relate to them. And they'll read more about that. I hope this is helpful. I wish I got this advice early on because I essentially did this advice and I, I thought I was being a rebel and I felt bad because I was you know, not doing the right kind of marketing and now I realize, wait a second, more and more in our coming world of, uh, you know, it's the, the search engines and the AI will help people find exactly what they need to. Even if a website has 85 different niches, it doesn't matter. The AI will help people find just what they need. In our coming world, it, you can be 85 different things and the, the right person will still get to find you and work with you. So I hope this is helpful and I look forward to seeing if, if you have any uh, comments below. Thank you so much.